And so now, uh, over the next two days, uh, we have a wonderful opportunity to uh, deepen our experience of these precious teachings through engaging in meditation retreat. Uh, spending our time in meditation, familiarizing our minds with these uh, virtues, uh, precious Dharma teachings. So for this retreat, Genla recommended that we emphasize the three principal paths, which include meditations on renunciation, uh, the supreme good heart of bodhicitta, and the correct view of emptiness. Of course, this is perfect preparation for us uh, for receiving highest yoga tantra empowerments this coming weekend. So in the meditation sessions before lunch today, uh, we can now emphasize uh, developing the precious mind of renunciation. So according to Jason Kappa's instructions, this has three stages. Training in meditation on death, training in the meditation on sufferings, and training in the meditation on actual renunciation. Okay, three stages. Of these three, in this session this morning, we will be emphasizing training in the meditation on death. So the purpose of this meditation is to overcome our, to help us to overcome our attachment to the things of this life. For example, our attachment to worldly pleasure. Genla said that at present, our wish for worldly pleasure is quite strong. And our wish to engage in Dharma practice is relatively weak. And so therefore, our attachment wins. So for as long as we remain with the laziness of attachment, the door to liberation, which means uh, pure and everlasting happiness, it remains closed for us. And we are in great danger of our human life becoming empty of meaning. So it's very important that we remove this obstacle within our minds by, uh, in particular, gaining experience of this meditation on our own death and impermanence. Kesha says, normally um, we have no interest in hearing about our death, but because uh, we have a strong wish to um, make spiritual progress, we, re we need to remove the main obstacle within our minds. This is the laziness of attachment. By meditating on death, we can definitely overcome this laziness because this meditation strongly encourages us to um, engage in pure Dharma practice right now. Okay, that will be, um, our, our mind will move to um, losing interest in the things of this life, being attached to the things of this life and move with great energy towards using this precious human life to engage in pure Dharma practice. So, how do we engage in this meditation? Uh, three main parts. At the beginning, we need to contemplate how our death is certain and the time of our death is uncertain. So we'll engage in this contemplation according to the meditation in modern Buddhism. Okay, so we'll contemplate how our death is certain and the time of our death is uncertain. The conclusion from that contemplation will be, I may die today. And then we spend some time repeatedly contemplating that. Um, again and again we think, I may die today, I may die today. 
And as we do that contemplation, we are trying to allow the truth of those words to touch our hearts so that we actually feel, we actually feel within our mind, I may die today. And then we'll spend some time meditating single-pointedly on that feeling. This is a powerful meditation. Um, good morning. <laughs> so we're going to get a feeling. Actually, this is exactly what we need because it's going to make our intention pure. This is what we need. So we won't waste um, uh, our precious human life uh, this day. I will take full advantage of our opportunity because we think it could disappear at any moment. I may die today. And then after meditating on that for a while, we finish the final object of concentration, placement meditation, is the thought. Since I will soon have to depart from this world, there is no sense in being attached to the things of this life. Instead, I will devote my whole life to practicing Dharma purely and sincerely. Okay, so I'll, I will guide this meditation. Maybe I should say, because, because Genla clarified, this, this last conclusion, I will devote my whole life to practicing Dharma purely and sincerely. So we should not be extreme. She reminded us many times that uh, we continue with our normal way of life, you know, our family, our friends, our job, and so forth. What we are changing is our mind. Okay? Dharma practice is an inner experience of transforming our minds into lamrim, the stages of the path. Okay, so we're not saying I'm going to stop all of my normal daily activities that support my human life um, and only engage in formal meditation. The conclusion is I'm going to um, use this, this beneficial belief, I may die today, to move my mind towards practicing Dharma in every situation. Formal meditation and throughout all of our activities in daily life.